got some hose no, out of here. Yeah, you can ask away. We have our cutoff chart up here. Instead of looking at a print every two seconds. So this is the most common bullfighting yeah, stuff. First line is so they kind of have it down there. Three and a half inches. So they can cut it. So when you look up there, it's uh, straight to straight spiders. We believe these first. two words are better together at a Brazo That's the lot number and the PO number. And you go to the next size and then they'll have links to that in the next size. We have like forty thousand subscribers so some subscribers are this one's a straight to 90. So what we do when we mark we mark this as a straight to 90 is okay. We'll yeah. Put this tape on here like this. I would say really. That tells us it's a straight to 90, and this is a straight to straight because I marked it with the tape. <laughs> then if it's a 45, we'll just run tape around it, like in a circle, <laughs> instead of leaving the tab hang off. That means it's a straight to 45. But then that way, when we put it together, we know what it is. Um, I was just saying you yeah. do that. Uh, we don't. I'm like, okay, can you explain that to me in English? Yeah. 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 And then they're like, what? Yeah. 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 There we have so, yeah. uh, six fuel and oil lines. This is a tricky yeah, one. You have to do uh, one side of this one first. Sometimes what they'll cut it down. It's okay with the water. It doesn't fit in the drive. Okay. And then the one side to me. Don't like it. It's so short. Or they'll put a lot of cotton in the aircraft manufacturer. Hits the bottom of that nut right yeah. there. And what then you loosen it. Yeah. Well, what they always told us is, you know, call it a nice socket. Call it a Sweet. Then you go, know, this one's a, short. Usually we just turn this around in here. But uh, something that nests, um, you have to do this one kind of especially. I'll give you one. You have to uh, put uh, the, nut the, 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 the nut in the place. And then you just got to push. Very lightly. You probably from a strict yeah. you probably would have heard that not been mentioned. But I'm trying to service our reader, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I wouldn't do it in a harsh way, but I say you know what I you know, you're losing this. You know, you probably get yes. a hand. Uh, but you know, these are the extra you know, standard blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> That's uh, the baby one. You know, that you yeah. know what you're getting. No, this one, like, see this one? And that's going to be a good this one. This one. And this one you'll be able to just turn around and do real fast. That one's just short because it doesn't fit, like, all the way through here. So I had to do a kind of a... Just turn the music down. Either they somehow managed to cross that, or it's just not tight. Um, another time and where... Six. And then you gotta turn this around. Know what they're doing, and they're adamant that hey, I don't Sorry, have to that's for the um, the angle fitting. You gotta put these up. You do. Hook it up. And, and it slides in there like that. So in that case, you just let them know, hey, we recertified it, we tested it, we sent it back. Um, you know, I was hoping I 
that didn't happen to me right now. Don't film that. <laughs> Don't film that. <laughs> Like they had a, they had a, like a mandrel, like that machine I showed you the other day. Yeah. They can do that by hand. But you got to buy the right mandrels in the, uh, to do it in the vise. Or if it's 701s, you can build in the vise. So then, Okay, so, yeah, they don't have to be certified. So, so then I checked all of them, so they're all good. The dash 4 is first. Is in. different sizes but they test they, they operate at 1500 and they all test at 3000 so I can legally put all of these on the test bench at one time because they do the, they're all the same <laughs> pressures then uh, you dial this up to 3000 and just push this button Then you let it fold live in their and so without being able to jump for uh, 60 seconds is all we have to test any rows for. Because if there was any chance of anything leaking, so as soon as you plug these in, water and air goes into the hose immediately. So even before you hit the button, you can see it. something's going to drip or leak. So as you can see right now, everything is it's at, it's at uh, oh, yeah. 3,000 and everything's so, it's all solid. Here, it matches all this right here. So you got uh, at the time. Um, 119. I didn't trust him to do the operation. I want to go to UCLA where they did it. They know. Um, but I always run it through the opposite way, just in case there's a piece that might be uh, flapped up, you know? Oh, you're just checking on clearance? <laughs> to make sure that, because if there's a piece of flap on the other side, if I go the same way, it might roll over. But if I do the opposite end, it'll stop. Ah. That's why I do that. Old trick. And then you get six. Oh. What's this one? Sorry, go down. So then you just go back that way, and I go back. I go back to this way. And that way, and then this way. Make sure there's a problem. It goes here. This one, I just know what side. I'm not going to look at the chart. I don't know what if I look at something else, I'll shoot you. Except for that one. I'm going to mark it right where, about where the nuts are right there. Especially on a short one because you want it to be totally even all the way across and not have a ring. Let's uh, to see how the end is where all uh, raw like that. Huh. So you're gonna put this in here. And you take the screwdriver. And you coat the inside about three quarters of an inch to an inch inside. 
they started off with just, just the like that. Oh. And they the it's coated and it dries. It's kind of rubberized in a way. Oh, it's nice. And they would them down this just line, to uh, seal the everything in. Yeah, when you band it, you band it right around there, and, then it and it'll seal it shut. Is for that one. That's that's an eight. That's a thinner. No, it's going to be one of the. This is the longer straight than I do. This might be your rough. Uh, oh shit. Um. Square right there. And then you apply you know, this one. And you line this one up on here. And then you apply. Then you put this down. You can't leave it open. You can see it through there. Um, it's like a welding shoe. That's a laser. So now I'm going to hit quick mark and then hit all, and you're going to see the laser going. All done. Open it up. And you have you have your tags. Perfectly lasered text. I don't know if you can see it. You can see on the right. Yeah, I'd drop them off that Put the here. Then you spot weld it. So, yeah, you get some really great deals on the show. Which is a requirement by Eaton that it spot weld is yeah. that way. When it goes out of here, we know that it's spot weld. And nobody, nobody, it's kind of like a safety There was a run on uh, filters for a while. Oh, man. Couldn't find them. I think people they were, they were more than um, you know, a couple of hours so they were not a whole group of so they didn't need as many as they had. You kind of put them in order as you're doing them. I mean, unless you knew that the yeah. payment from them went out immediately. It was already spoken for. But Champion was, we didn't see anything from them. So a lot of people switched to Tempest because they had no choice. A lot of people switched to K&N too. Uh, a lot on the experimental side, there's a lot that goes up through a bracket in between the cylinders. So the spider on the bottom of that would have needed a little bit more room to get them through. Alright, so then, this is a will call. So what we'll do is get these all over. The ones this. that we just did, it's going to be a little too thick. No, he changed this. it. He oh. put a tighter. He put a tighter. So oh, this perfect. is usually only something we do on will call because you guys come in to pick them up. And then that way you can just grab yeah, there's a, you grab your bag on the way out. <laughs> but when we take them off to shipping, we just leave them loose and they put them in a box. Yeah. 